Right now, this image might not make much sense to you, but it's my favorite science graph ever because it's what happens when you swing a bat. Oh, sorry. It's what happens when you put a bat in a swing. And in case you were concerned, no bats were harmed in the study. They were all released the same day. So, you're a mustache bat. First of all, congrats. Second, you're gonna have to use your echolocation to eat about 500 bugs in one night. That's just how it is. I don't make the rules here. The problem is the world is a noisy place, so you have a few tricks up your sleeve. One of them is to make a wide sweep of frequencies. <laughs> But the other strategy is to make a specific frequency that you are just really, really good at hearing. How good at hearing? As a mustache bat, your ear is physically shaped to be good at hearing that pitch. A mustache bat's inner ear is physically thicker in the exact part of the ear that resonates at that sweet spot frequency. This strategy is great because you only have to worry about one frequency, so it's a huge load off your brain. But there's a critical problem with this, and that's physics. Physics! Specifically, the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is what causes frequencies from a moving object to increase as they approach and then decrease as they leave. It's why when you're driving next to a car, you might hear But if that same car passes you, you might hear now, as a bat, your problem is, the faster you fly forward, the higher pitch your echoes are gonna be when they come back to you. And if the pitch increases, it's gonna get knocked right out of your sweet spot. <coughs> nice. <coughs> what? <coughs> I can't hear anything. So this whole plan can't work. You're constantly moving at different speeds, so the pitch of your echo is constantly changing, and you can't change that sweet spot that's built into your ear. This whole thing is a wash. Unless, unless you, as a mustache bat, change the pitch that you make based on your speed to exactly compensate for the Doppler effect, so that when your echo comes back to you, it's always right in that sweet spot. Nice. This is called Doppler shift compensation, and it's incredible, but, Arguably, the bigger question is, how did we figure out that bats were doing this? Scientists put bats in a little foam swing, and when they swung the bats forward, they made this beautiful diagram. Those little red dots are measurements of the bat's pitch, and that black curve is the Doppler shift from the movement of the swing. And the pitch changes exactly to match the movement of the swing, so when you add them up together, you get exactly that sweet spot pitch. This is just such a beautiful graph. But some of you might have noticed something about this graph. Why is the pitch not changing on the backward swing? Over here, the red dots are a perfect mirror of the Doppler curve, but over here, they're a flat line. And the answer is so beautifully simple. Bats don't fly backwards, so they don't know how to compensate for that. And that's why this is my favorite science graph.